Not long ago, a Chinese TV program interviewed Huawei CEO Yu Chengdong. He cried with tears in his eyes. He also said how much pressure Huawei Mate 50 endured before its launch and almost fell into hell. Fortunately, it succeeded in the end. From this point, we can see that the United States has taken several sanctions and how much it has hit Huawei, especially when there is no chip production. Now Kirin has already stepped into zero with one foot. However, there have been rumors recently that Kirin will make a comeback next time. Before TSMC handed Kirin chips to High Silicon, High Silicon had world class chips, and Kirin 9000 was the first 5 nanometers process to apply 5G baseband to TSMC. This is enough to make Qualcomm, Snapdragon, Apple, and other companies far behind. After all, Qualcomm completed the 5G baseband a year ago, but now they have not developed the 5G baseband but adopted Qualcomm's technology. We know how powerful High Silicon was at the beginning. With the help of Kirin, Huawei has surpassed Samsung and become the best product in the world. But when Huawei was booming, the United States took tough measures to prohibit TSMC from continuing to produce high-end products such as Huawei and Kirin. Huawei can only rely on its own unicorn to develop. As TSMC has been working overtime during this time, assisting Huawei with a lot of Kirin chip manufacturing. Huawei has been using unicorns to maintain the mobile market for two years and now, Kirin is close to zero. A few days ago, a well-known scientific research organization released a sales statistics of the world SUP chips in the first quarter of this year. In the first quarter of last year, only 1% of the market for high silicon and Huawei was left. In the second and third quarters, it had dropped to 0%. This shows that this product has reached the end of its rope. Will the Kirin chip remain silent forever? Recently, news about Kirin has been exposed on the internet. A netizen posted a video on the forum, which seems to be a conversation between the author and a Huawei employee, saying that Huawei's Kirin chip will come back next year, but the process is not so good, and the specific production process has not yet been announced. Some netizens asked if the Kirin back this time has a 14 nanometers process. The blogger responded that there should be, but did not say that it will be used on mobile phones. The instigator of this article is not clear, because the author of this article once revealed that he had confirmed with a 20-year-old Huawei engineer that Kirin's products would be relaunched in a year. Therefore, relevant reporters asked Huawei for confirmation on this matter, calling it fake news. However, with Huawei's clarification, the official account of Huawei's Kirin chip suddenly appeared. The meaning of this is not ordinary. In addition, Huawei has also said that it will deal with this problem by using the area switching function in the case of lamination technology. After such a long period of research, there will always be new developments. Maybe the technology is not developed enough to use it now, so I can't say. We can learn this from Yu Chengdong's interview. Huawei's mobile phone market is in trouble because it does not have Kirin's chips. Its sales in a year, less than a month sales, are almost unsustainable. That's why Yu Chengdong risked his life to bring the Mate 50 series to the market, but because there is no Kirin and no 5G, the company's management is not optimistic about this, but Yu Chengdong withstood the pressure, withstood all the pressure, and he the team worked hard together. Live up to expectations, Mate 50 sold 6 million units, Huawei's consumer department finally has a new goal. In this blog, not only the news about Kirin, but also Huawei's new products are revealed. There are reports that Huawei will launch the Mate X3 in March, and it is mentioned that Huawei has obtained the best folding screen technology from the manufacturer and the high quality associated with it.
In addition, the P-60 is also expected to be launched in late March and early April. Moreover, I heard that Huawei will launch Mate 60 next year. But Mate X3 uses Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 14G instead of Kirin, which means that Kirin has gone. But it can also be seen that Huawei has opened up the domestic industrial chain and there will be more advanced technologies. Huawei's customer departments have worked so hard and High Silicon, a company that makes transistors, can't stop doing it, but the entire Chinese wafer industry still needs to be improved. However, even with the maturity of the 28 nanometers process, 14 nanometers can be manufactured using the stacking method. Huawei participates in chip R&D and design through its silicon semiconductor department, focusing on basic research and exploring various cutting-edge chip technologies. High Silicon has been established and developed for 18 years. It has launched Kirin, Kunpeng, Balong and other series of chips for Huawei, corresponding to smartphone SoC, server and baseband. These are just the tip of the iceberg of high silicon series chips. In the broad chip exploration project, high silicon has brought Huawei patented technologies in optical computing chips, chip stacking, and superconducting quantum chips. High silicon has a team of 7,000 people. Even if the market changes, high silicon still maintains normal recruitment activities and project research. Some foreign media said that Huawei does not need Maxic because the chip stacking and superconducting quantum chips explored by Huawei are all cutting-edge chip fields for the future and they do not need the technical support of the United States and they can also implement related research results. Industrialization Just like chip stacking, the concept is to stack and combine two chips with advanced packaging technology to form a brand new system on a chip. No need for traditional advanced process support, even two mature chips can double the energy efficiency after stacking and combining. When the advanced packaging industry matures in the future, I believe this part of the research will have practical application value and significance and Huawei will also have the opportunity to use stacked chip products and equipment to improve its competitive advantage. Huawei hopes to release a Kirin chip with lower performance within a year, but the size of this phone is too big. Regarding Kirin's chip, maybe we expect too much and we are more willing to believe that this revelation is true and think that there will be good news.